All right, guys, with this latest update, 2019 40.2.1, it seems like autopilot is in a really good place. And now that we have hardware three, uh, it seems like this might be one of the best iterations of autopilot to date. But how do we really measure that? How do we really tell if that's the case? So what I wanted to do was just do a straight one take shot uh, with navigator autopilot to a supercharger uh, without intervening at all just having my hand on the wheel and not having to intervene i've turned lane change confirmation to no i'm going to keep my hand on the wheel i'm just going to let it go right now very narrow lane lines that we're in right now overcast conditions not a lot of wind a little bit of snow flurry we'll also be able to see what the wipers do looking to change me out of this uh, lane line, but also the lane line is solid, so it's actually not gonna make the maneuver just yet. Okay, so it's gonna signal, waiting for a break, and then it's gonna go. It canceled it because it took too long. That's interesting. Very smooth, very composed. Again, these lane lines are a little bit narrower than uh, most. Now sticking in the lane change, vibrating the wheel, looking to get over, gets me right over as soon as an opening is available. Perfect. Keeps the speed. Traffic's moving a little bit faster. I'm gonna just go up a little bit more just so I can get out of this passing lane. Very smooth, very composed, nonetheless. And one hand is on the wheel, the other hand is here. Hand is just resting at the bottom of the wheel. I'll try not to intervene at all unless it's absolutely necessary. But we're just going straight shot. Should be about 15 minutes, so hopefully the video isn't too long. If it gets too boring, I'll start to speed it up in certain spots. I'm gonna now change the auto lane change frequency to Mad Max to see what that does. It's the only sort of intervention I'll make. A little bit of that, a little bit of hesitation on that one. Again, my my speed, the, the speed of the traffic is the way that this is going, so. More crazy drivers.
So someone in the comments in the last video made a point uh, that I wanted to just bring to everyone's attention is that the um, requirement for auto lane change is that it prompts you to turn the stalk, to flip the stalk um, if it requires permission. But if you don't require permission to make lane changes, it still requires a form of confirmation. So it's not truly um, sort of all or nothing. Uh, you have to have either confirmed by stock or confirmed by having your hand on the wheel. There is no true, um, no confirmation. Just to point that out, one of the commenters uh, asked the question and I wanted to make sure I clarify that to everyone else. You still need to have a hand on the wheel to confirm or you use the stock. So really it's not really confirm, it's really just using whatever pre preference, whatever method is preferable to you. Using your torque on the wheel or using your stock. Would love for us to get to the point where we don't have to do anything and it just makes the lane changes automatically. Again, a little bit slower, tra faster traffic. I'm going to speed up just a little bit just because they're piling up behind me. Uh, just want to make sure I keep up with the flow of traffic. And also this will be a good use case to see if the uh, adjacent lane speed detection has any impact on navigate on autopilot when not in an exit lane. Ideally, I would get out of the passing lane right now, but I'm just trying to test and see what the car does on its own. Again, Mad Max settings. It's uh, hanging out in the passing lane a little too long, especially when it sees an opening. And again, you might see or might not see more crazy drivers uh, flying down the highway. Hopefully no one gets into an accident. prompts me out of the passing lane. There it is, nice and timely. Again, applying a little bit of extra torque to confirm the lane change. Not totally permission free for the auto lane change. Still requires permission. Now again, a little extra torque on the wheel and uh, I'm back to the other lane. Everything else about this version of Autopilot is rock solid in terms of lane keeping, in terms of adjustments for trucks, in terms of speed, keeping the nice proper speed and distance from the car in front of you. Again, although you know our personal preference is to keep that distance a little bit low, I'm at distance one right now and this is the distance it's keeping. Another Tesla coming up. Would love to see another Tesla visualized here, Elon, Tesla. That would be a great touch to add, to know that the car can recognize other Teslas in the beginnings of vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication. I wonder if they're on autopilot too, maybe, maybe not.
got three lanes to get over now. I wonder how it's going to do that. I'm just going to hold on for dear life and hope for the best. Lots of traffic in this particular area. A lot more dense traffic, so very interested to see. this goes a little bit of swaying in the lane it could be the wind outside it doesn't seem like the wind is too heavy but again I don't have the window open giving a little bit of torque to confirm the lane change slows down to get in gracefully I like that Again, another lane change. Probably going to slow down again. Yes, again. Gracefully to get in. Doesn't disturb the car behind me. I think I've got two more lanes to get over, potentially. One thing I noticed right now, putting it back on sort of the steering wheel confirm versus the stock confirm is that the auto lane change is still a little bit more hesitant. A lot more immediate with the stock confirm than it is with the torque confirm. And maybe it's just because the okay, car is coming. Maybe it's just because uh, car let me in. That was very nice of them. Maybe it's just because of the the amount of time it takes for it to sense additional torque on the wheel. Again, my hand is just resting on the wheel, but maybe it requires a little bit more force for the lane change confirmation. And the time it takes for it to recognize that is what the delay is. There goes the uh, adjacent lane speed indicator, meaning I'm moving significantly faster than the lane next to me. Car is merging, it's slowing down for this car to let it merge. That's behavior that we've seen before. Prior to this latest update, centering itself nice and smoothly in the lane merge as opposed to fishing. Very good. lane change when I saw the driver come into this lane and it's also going to probably slow down for these other cars or at least one of them starting to slow down a little bit I'll be prepared to brake as needed centering itself yes thank you so much Tesla for fixing that that was such a pain much more confidence with autopilot with that fix in play where it doesn't fish for the lines when the, line, when the lane lines merge. Getting ready to come off on the exit. You see it's getting a little close to this line, don't like that. But okay, maybe minor adjustment or correction to the neural net. Now this particular exit is close to a guardrail or a barrier. Uh, and I know that the issue they did not fix is the aggression for the exit. Now, even though I'm going the right speed limit, it still might take it fairly aggressively. So I will take over here as needed. It's gonna merge here. Okay. Very close to that line, as you can see, very close to that line. And here's an additional one next to that guardrail that I talked about. I'm gonna just be prepared to take over again here in the event that uh, they get a little too happy. All right, autopilot is, navigating autopilot is ending. It'll we'll switch me back over to regular autopilot for the off ramp and then I can take over. All right, so that's pretty much it. That's pretty much uh, where we are, the state of autopilot currently, 2019-40.2.1. I'll press the pedal to resume regular autopilot just to see what it does here. 
But that's pretty much it. It's not really gonna merge here. It's not gonna do anything here, but be dangerous. So I'll just go ahead and take over. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know your experience with this latest version of Autopilot. I think it's very rock solid. I think there's room for improvement and tweaks uh, through the neural net and through uh, additional incremental software updates. But let me know your thoughts. Until the next time, enjoy your day, enjoy your Tesla.